Welcome to yet another beer show. I'm Steve. I'm JT. And we're going to be trying another beer for the 12 Days of Beer Mess today. The Slayer from uh, Ninkasi Brewing, a brewing Company in Eugene, Oregon. Uh, this is a double dark German alt beer. Uh, so we typically try a lot of Belgian beers on the show and... I have a personal preference and it just happens. But they're good. <laughs> yeah. But uh, again, uh, it's always good to branch out, try something new, which is why we're here. So um, it, it uh, alt translates into uh, old from German, so this is you know aged a little longer, like a stout would be, or yeah, or we, a, we did our homework on this one good because order. when I first saw that it was an alt beer, I was like, I didn't know there was an alternative scene in the beer <laughs> in the beer brewing industry. But uh, apparently Alt does translate to old in German. They said there was also another like Latin translation, which means uh, to do longer. Um, and, and I think it has something to do with it just brewed longer. Yeah. So uh, we'll get into it. So from what we did read, uh, it also explains it as a dark brown ale, um, a German style brown ale. Um, I've had some of these before. Uh, oh, brown, I mean brown ales, usually American style. I don't think I've had a German. Mm -hmm. You've had yeah. British style brown ales oh, as well. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, like Newcastle. Which we've had on the show before, actually. Absolutely. And uh, so it does have like a like a red brown color, I would say. Mm -hmm. But very, it, it is uh, the word is fragrant. It has a very like distinct smell. I, I couldn't tell you what it is, but it, it smells dark. It smells dark, yeah, dark and malty. It does have a... Yeah, I, I am picking up a, kind of an odd scent that I can't place on. Yeah. It doesn't smell bad, just different. Different? Well, you know what? It's better to... Sure. Better, better to taste than Better to taste smell, yeah, exactly. Whoa, no. It's a very, uh, it, I mean, it's definitely a brown ale. Mm -hmm. It's got that flavor, but it's very deeper in flavor, I would say, compared to like Newcastle. It, yeah, it's it's thick. It's not not heavy, like, it's not as, as full flavored as, as the Belgians are, mm. but it does have kind of a thickness to it more so. It's It's got more flavor than Newcastle. It's kind of, it, it does have that kind of like smoky uh, sort of flavor to it. Not, I mean, not like Porter style, but I don't, I don't know. Like, if you, if you're sitting by by your fire and you get that like little smoke that you, mm -hmm. you, that comes towards you, yeah, that's that's sort of what it feels like to me in terms of smell and taste. I, mean, yeah. I think it's just it's just a little smoky, um, and, I, and I think it actually does add to the flavor. It definitely tastes like um, you can taste a little hops. Like you have, yeah. the, I think you have a little, a little hop flavor. Yeah. But it's it's not too strong. More so than the the brown ales that I've yeah. tried as, as well. It's really good though. It's not. It, it's it's light enough in flavor that you can. I mean, you could drink it all at once without really. You know, sometimes when beer has a lot of flavor, you know, you yeah. couldn't do that. You get overwhelmed. It's too, yeah. it's too overwhelming. This you could, but it's it's still so thick and heavy. In its mouthfeel, and uh, that the, the, you don't need to do that. You know, like uh, a cheap watered down lager would, you would not only could do it, you should, practically should. <laughs> it's it's designed for mass consumption, and this you don't you don't feel that desire to just chug it down. No, even this, though the flavor you could. There there are some beers that are sipping beers, and I would. I would put this towards that spectrum. Like uh, you could definitely take like, uh, you know, you could drink this uh, as a solid beer, but I think I think it's very nice. Actually, I think we have a, a little more of a room temperature right now, mm -hmm. and I could see this uh, just being a nice, relaxing sipping beer. Yeah, it's, it's 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 got that like, it's it's got the heaviness without having that. You know, some people don't like um, really really heavy fla or strong flavored beers. Mm -hmm. They don't like the hops. Maybe they, they're okay with malts or, or something like that. But this has that sipping feel without having 
that huge amount of flavor. Um, the flavors that are there are very subtle, they're, but they're definitely there. It's kind of warm too, you know. Mm -hmm. These seasonal brews are very meant to give you that kind of uh, alcohol sort of uh, warmness as it goes down. Yeah. And as a double dark ale, it's probably... Like, yeah, 7.2 uh, 7 by volume. Oh, okay. There, not, there you go. Not too heavy, but or not incredibly hot. <laughs> but true to its name, if you'd probably drink this whole thing, it would, it would slay be. you. <laughs> It, it is good though. I I could drink the whole thing. Uh, 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 just mm. yeah. I'm I'm a converter, converted, convertee. Yeah. It definitely has more of that you know that bitterness that you get from the hops um, than than and the, yeah. Newcastle for yeah, instance. Yeah, and that might be like the smoky flavor. It's like it's just it's just a very deep bitter flavor, yeah. but good. Excellent. Yeah. I think, I think this was a good selection. Absolutely. So that's JT. That's Steve. And thanks for watching Yet Another Beer Show. Uh, check us out online at yetanotherbeershow.com and we'll see you later. Cheers. Cheers. That's the sound we need to make each time. <laughs>